Hi, friends. I'd like to share a short practice on loving kindness for all beings. But before doing that, I just want to touch on why bother? Why would we bother sharing parts of our practice with all beings? Because a lot of us know that we can live largely satisfactory lives when we simply focus our practice on ourselves or maybe those in our immediate surroundings. But if we stop there, we miss out on the depth and the beauty this practice has to offer. Um, that even though we might practice largely in solitude, so much of the teachings come alive in the realm of relationship. They highlight how we're connected to all beings. And I also firmly believe that if we extend our practice into the realm of all beings and into our relationships, that we have what we need in this practice to lead to the freedom from suffering for all beings without exception. And yet, of course, we are living in precarious and scary times. Yet times like this ask us to slow down, to turn inward, and to listen to our heart and to act from there, to act with as much wisdom as is possible. Um, meditation teacher Melvin Escobar in a recent Lion's Roar article said that um, the word precarious comes from the Latin prefix prec, um, which means prayer. And that an especially potent form of prayer for times like this is metta or loving kindness. And yet, when we think of all beings, it could feel really daunting. We, won't, we might not know where to start. And so what I find is really helpful is to break all beings up into some bite-sized pieces. We can turn to the Metta Sutta directly for some inspiration, of which I'll read in a moment. We can also think of different directions which we may also want to send loving kindness, especially if you're practicing radiating metta. And so what I tend to do is I like to envision um, all beings in some way, um, in one of these ways. And then once I, I expand my perspective to include everyone, which also includes the people I find pro problematic, the the people in power that I feel are upholding systems that cause harm, that perpetuate harm. Um, but I include them because this is what this practice invites us into because hatred doesn't lead to any less hatred in the world, but love alone. And this practice of metta, especially with all beings, in a lot of ways, is it's a rehumanization project. Um, when I have deemed others as the enemy or as the problem, I tend to, even in sm if whether it's small or big ways, to think of them as less human, less worthy. But as long as that thinking is present in my mind, there will always be separation. There will always be some sort of conflict or hatred or war. And so how can I expect the outer world to be any different if the inner world is not is the same? And so with that, um, what I like to do in my practice when it comes to this part, as I mentioned, is to think of all beings. And so you might want to close your eyes now. As I mentioned, and this comes from the Metta Sutta, different ways you might think of all beings. I'll also mention different directions. And then lead us through a short practice. And so setting yourself up comfortably in a posture that is supportive for this type of practice, maybe lying down, maybe with back support. Invite your body and your heart to relax. And then Bring to mind all living beings, whether weak or strong, in high, middle, 
or low realms of existence. Whether small or great, visible or invisible, near or far, born or to be born. Intending to share metta or loving kindness above, below, around, and everywhere, as to all, as to myself. Without exception. No one excluded, no one exploited. May all beings be happy and healthy. May all beings be safe from inner and outer danger. May all beings be held in compassion. May all beings know peace in an uncertain world. And if thinking of all beings in these phrases feels like there's a disconnect, or the mind is creating stories, given the state of the world, how is that possible? Sometimes adding as possible can make it more accessible. May all beings be happy and healthy as possible. May all beings be safe from inner and outer danger as much as possible. May all beings be held in compassion as much as possible. May all beings know peace in an uncertain world as much as possible. The eyes are closed. You can blink them open or lift your gaze. Thank you for spending these few minutes with me. May it be so. Thank you. Bye.